Have you ever wondered how pilots plan their flights? It's much more than just plotting a course on a map. Flight planning is a vital part of aviation, ensuring not only the safety of the passengers and crew, but also the efficiency of the flight. It involves a meticulous process of understanding aircraft performance, the effects of atmospheric conditions, fuel planning, and much more. So let's dive into the meticulous process of flight planning. First up, we have aircraft performance. The performance characteristics of an aircraft, such as its speed and fuel consumption, are crucial factors in flight planning. These parameters help determine the efficiency of the flight, dictating the possible routes and altitudes, and even the amount of cargo the aircraft can carry. It's like preparing for a road trip you need to know how your car performs under different conditions to plan effectively, therefore understanding these traits is vital. The pilot needs to know their aircraft inside and out. Next we consider the International Standard Atmosphere or ISA. The ISA is a model used in aviation providing a consistent set of atmospheric conditions. Imagine it as a hypothetical vertical distribution of atmospheric properties like temperature, pressure, and density. These values are essential for aircraft performance calculations. The ISA ensures that regardless of where you are or what time it is, there's a set of predictable standard conditions you can plan for. This allows for a standardized approach to flight planning worldwide. Now let's talk about aircraft limitations and phases of flight. Every aircraft comes with its own set of limitations, a crucial one being weight and balance. This is integral to ensuring the aircraft is neither too heavy to get off the ground nor too light to maintain stability during flight. Moving on to the phases of flight. Each phase from takeoff to landing requires its own unique set of considerations. For instance, during takeoff, the aircraft needs to reach a certain speed to lift off the ground, a process heavily influenced by factors such as air density and temperature. In the climb phase, it's all about attaining altitude while maintaining a balance between speed and engine power. Cruise phase is where the aircraft reaches its optimal altitude and speed, while the descent and approach phases require careful planning to land safely at the destination airport. Remember, each phase of flight has its own unique planning requirements. Moving on to aircraft performance data and fuel planning. Understanding an aircraft's performance data is integral to calculating fuel requirements. This information, which includes factors like airspeed, altitude and weight, provides pilots with the necessary insights to predict fuel consumption accurately. Just as a driver gauges their car's fuel efficiency based on miles per gallon, pilots depend on these performance metrics to determine their aircraft's fuel burn rate. But why is this so crucial? Well, effective fuel planning is essential for both safety and efficiency. It ensures that the aircraft has enough fuel to reach its destination, accommodate any unexpected changes in weather or air traffic and still have a sufficient reserve for emergencies. It's not just about getting from point A to point B, it's about doing so safely, without unnecessary stops or risks. In essence, fuel planning is much more than a simple calculation, it's a critical component of flight preparation, playing a vital role in every journey's success. Fuel planning is a critical part of ensuring a safe journey. Next we'll look at taxi fuel, takeoff and departure. Taxi fuel is the fuel used while the aircraft is still on the ground. It's an essential part of flight planning because it includes the fuel used for engine start, taxi and takeoff run. The taxi fuel quantity is calculated based on the estimated taxi time which can vary greatly depending on airport size, traffic and other factors. Now, let's move on to takeoff. Takeoff is more than just getting the plane off the ground. It's a complex process that involves detailed planning. Factors like runway length, aircraft weight, wind direction, and weather conditions all play a part. The pilot must also plan for the departure route, keeping in mind air traffic, terrain, and airspace restrictions. All these elements are interconnected. A change in one factor can affect the others, making the planning process a delicate balancing act. It's a testament to the skill and knowledge of our pilots and flight planners. These initial stages of flight require meticulous planning. Finally, we'll discuss en route performance, descent, approach, and landing. This final phase of flight planning involves using performance data to plan the en route phase, descent, approach, and landing. En route performance is all about efficiency. Pilots use data from the aircraft's performance charts to maintain optimal speed and altitude, ensuring that the aircraft is flying as efficiently as possible. This includes considering factors like wind direction and speed, which can significantly affect fuel consumption and flight time. Descent planning on the other hand, is about preparing for the approach and landing. Pilots need to consider the aircraft's weight, speed and altitude, as well as the weather conditions at the destination airport. 
they'll use performance data to plan a descent that's both safe and efficient. The approach phase is when the aircraft prepares to land. Pilots need to align the aircraft with the runway, reduce speed, and descend to the appropriate altitude. They'll use the aircraft's performance data to manage this process, taking into account factors like wind direction and speed, runway length, and visibility. And finally, there's the landing. This is the most critical phase of the flight and requires precise control. Pilots use the aircraft's performance data to determine the optimal touchdown speed and landing distance, taking into account the aircraft's weight and the runway conditions. From start to finish, planning a flight is a complex process that requires a deep understanding of the aircraft and the conditions it will face. So, that's a brief overview of flight planning. Let's quickly recap what we've covered today. We began with aircraft performance where we learned how a plane's capabilities can influence our plans. Then we moved on to the International Standard Atmosphere or ISA, which helps us understand how atmospheric conditions affect flight. Next we discussed aircraft limitations and the phases of flight, diving into the constraints of our aircraft and the elements involved in a full flight cycle. Our conversation then shifted to aircraft performance data and fuel planning, essential components in ensuring a safe and efficient flight. We also explored taxi fuel, takeoff and departure, highlighting the importance of a smooth start to our journey. Finally we delved into the nitty-gritty of en-route performance descent approach and landing, shedding light on the crucial final stages of our flight. Remember, each flight is a journey and every journey begins with a well-crafted plan.